Welcome to this video, Exusia. Okay, um, let's try the same opening we just did in the in the rapid. So the Scotch Four Knights. Here we go. Oh, but he's playing very quick, so he knows it maybe. Bishop e4. Yeah. So we take on c6. Bishop d3. And this is played, I don't know, thousands of times. So this is nothing special for white, but it's also difficult for black, you know, to to fight for um, some advantage. Um, let's just continue to develop the pieces here. Mm. I wonder where do I want to have this knight? I mean, there's not a bright future on, on c3 for the knight. Everything is controlled. Um, which rook? Okay, let's take this one. I think it's not doing that much on f f1. So I'm somewhat threatening to take on e8, and he cannot take back with the queen, he needs to take back with the bishop, because otherwise this one would be hanging. Okay. So can I do something with my knight now? Just like moving it to c4, uh, to d4, sorry. Here. I can play this maybe because it's not possible to take and now we have this one so I'm not sure about this maneuver with the with the rookie um, the pawn on c6 is hanging maybe I double up rooks now on this on the e-file mm. where does he want to move his knight So bishop e7 maybe. But then I have bishop uh, to knight to f5. So this looks pretty good. I, I, I like my position. So now I have the bishop pair. And maybe even in the right moment I can Sacrifice you on e7. Hmm. What about bishop f4? Just taking the exchange here. And I think I win even more by playing before, right? Take, take the bishop on e7 is not protected, but um, let's do it first and then before, then he has this move. Hmm. But then I can exchange queens by playing queen g3. Here we go. So this is a one end game. Uh, what did I say? This was stupid. I thought he needs to exchange. But he needs. Like this. Well, okay, he resigned. Thanks for watching.